everybody, it's the Barbecue Wizard here, back to bring you another video. This time around, we're gonna be having a look at how to do a whole spatchcock chicken on the barbecue. We're gonna look at direct heat versus indirect heat and my personal preference. Let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we need our whole chicken. This one has been spatchcocked already, and my local butcher did it for me. So basically, spatchcock means the backbone is taken out of the chicken. Um, so you can spread it out here like a butterfly. Okay, and it, it opens up the cooking area and it makes this bird cook much quicker. So that's what the bird looks like. Um, for this, I'm using the two glove system. So one hand is gloved, one hand is ungloved for touching the meat. Uh, the glove, sorry, the gloved hand touches the meat, obviously, and then the ungloved hand for touching the other bits. So we're just going to put a bit of oil on the chicken. So this is just so our dry rope can stick to the bird. Okay, just like so. For this cook, we're gonna be using some cherry cola dry rope from the Roasty Barbecue Company. Thanks to barbecuelife.ie. And um, they have the best uh, selection of rope sauces in Ireland that you can get. Um, I got a whole lot of stuff last week. So they're great guys there, good service, very quick to deliver. And um, so it's all, all good with them. So thanks again, barbecuelife.ie. So we're gonna sprinkle our rub over the chicken. This smells amazing, by the way. Now, if you don't have this, you can use any kind of rub. Um, you can use, you know, salt, pepper, paprika, a bit of garlic powder, whatever you want. But this, this is gonna give it a, a cherry taste. Okay. That's fine, oh, I can smell the, the cherry. And that's it, it's ready to go. Okay, so we've set up our grill here with two zones. So the one on the right here, you can see all the charcoal underneath. This is a lump of cherry wood that I've put in. I've wet the wood, because I don't want flames. I've wet the wood, um, which will allow it to burn a bit slower. But we'll get that nice cherry smoke rise from it. And then on the left here, there's no charcoal underneath, okay? So we're gonna start with the bird on the right hand side. And you see as we go along through the cook, we will then move it to the left hand side to co finish cooking the bird with indirect heat. Okay, so let's get her on. Okay, here's our bird. I'm gonna put it on here. Directly over that heat source, directly over the coals. And we are gonna put it on here for about 10 minutes on this side. And I'm gonna show you what we do next. Okay, so it's been on about 10 minutes now. On this side of its red coals, we're just gonna flip the bird. You can hear that nice sizzling. We should have some nice coloration on the other side. So you can see the colouring, nice brown, starting to cook nicely. I'm gonna do about 10 minutes on this side here, maybe eight, maybe a little bit less than what we did. <clears throat> this side is a bit more, a bit less forgiving than the back of the bird. So I'm gonna hit it with about eight minutes, maybe uh, maybe 10 of direct heat. And I'm gonna flip it again. All right, and close it Okay, so it's another 10 minutes on this side here. So we're just gonna flip the bird again one more time. Just see a nice color in it. Oh, super. Back in there. This one isn't behaved. Sometimes that will happen with the legs. And they might even come off all together, that's fine. You can see the lovely colouring on that. It's really starting to cook nicely for us. So we're gonna do another 10 minutes or so on this side and then I'm gonna might move it on to the indirect cooking side. Right, there we go. 
Oh, she's upside down. Yeah, it's, it's actually coming apart off there, though. It's okay. That's fine. Coming along nicely, anyway. Now, we just moved the bird across here to the left hand side. You can see all the coals are still on the right hand side, so the bird is just a little bit to the left. Okay, we don't want to give it too much direct heat because we don't want that completely burning on us. So, we're going to close up the lid now, and this is going to cook like an oven while hot air cir uh, circulating around from the from charcoal up around, passing through the meat and through the chimney. Okay, so we're going to close the lid up and uh, we're going to check on this in about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been under 20 minutes or so with indirect cooking. Um, we're just going to probe our chicken, see where we're at. It's a standard uh, temperature probe. Internal temperature chicken needs to be up 165 degrees Fahrenheit for it to be safe to eat. The colour on that is just super. Uh, just to probe in at the thickest part of the breast and the thickest part of the thigh. I have a feeling it won't be done yet. So we're in there, 157 degrees, 158. So we're nearly there. 165 is what we're looking for. Well, I'm actually, a lot of the heat's gone from this. So I didn't have too much charcoal at the start. So I'm actually gonna pop it back onto the direct heat, flip it back down onto the other side, <coughs> and um, grill it there directly for the last few minutes. Okay, we're almost up to temp now. <coughs> we're gonna, Finish her off with some Firefly Sour Cherry Barbecue Sauce and um, again I bought this on barbecuelife.ie check them out it's got some really good stuff this stuff is super so it just fits with our cherry team just to recap so we did cherry rub we did smoke <coughs> with a little bit of cherry wood in there and then we put in cherry sauce on I only put a sauce on the chicken at the very 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 end of the cook Beautiful, it smells amazing. Okay, I don't want to put too much on it. Okay, another five minutes is out, and she will be finished. Okay, so we've just come up to the temp. We've lifted the bird. I'm gonna cut in, have a look, and show you the white, white, juicy meat inside. Now, some people might say, oh, I'm a barbecue purist, and I wanna make my own rubs and my own sauces, and in your videos, you're just doing using stuff that you bought in a packet. And I say, yeah, so what? It's there, it's, in, it's there for a reason, use it. These guys have won awards for their sauces, their rubs, you know? Here's the product that's on the market. I have no interest in sitting there trying to make a rub, trying to make a sauce. My videos are all about the technique, the cooking technique, and any sauces and rubs that I use, they're just ideas. You know, you can use your own one. Don't like cherry, obviously don't use cherry, use your own thing, you know? Um, it's just to give you some ideas, that's all it is. But really want you to focus on the cooking technique. And that's your main takeaway from these videos, is that's how you cook that product. Okay, so we're gonna slice in now. Let's have a look here. Oh, you can see the juice running out of it. See that perfectly white chicken. Perfectly cooked. All the way through. 100%. Don't know if you saw all the juice running out, but it's lovely, moist, tender. Can't wait to eat some. That's it for me, folks. We'll be back soon for another video. Talk to you soon.